on the sixth train heading uptown to my lit professor's office. It's like liners off of campus, don't ask me why. I'm sandwiched in between this guy who's literally drooling and this European hipster who, well, let's be honest, smells. Woody Allen, her Gershwin in the air. Woody Thon, Manhattan. Well, I'm not so impressed. I hear like fiddle glass at best. I wish I could take a second to get of time, and my notebook likes to wander on its own across the city, taking with it my whole thesis, which I need to write like now. I don't remember the Muppets getting hives when they took Manhattan. My own diagnosis is I'm creeping towards psychosis because I cannot find a place to get calm. It's really hard, you know, I tried to take up yoga, but you'd be surprised how many folks don't think deodorant is that. But every time I took in a breath, I visualized that life coach is death. She's having brunch at Cafe Pierre, and she's joking and joking and joking and joking, and finally she's mom. Oh, I'm sorry. Anyways, I get to my professor's, and he sits me down and tells me that my thesis on Virginia Woolf is somehow false. I tell him what I'm writing from is not so much a thesis as the fact that she went crazy, and that seems well. My professor just tosses back his head and a dry Manhattan. I'm wondering which will kill him quicker, the big apple or the liquor, when suddenly I panic and I tell myself I must be someplace calm. I up and run toward Penn Station like I swear my head was ready to blow. Then I hop a train to Jersey just as fast as estate office right on the block. I can't afford a two-bedroom. I go into shock. I think, well, what the heck? I write a check. Cause there's sunlight and closets and laundry, but mostly it's calm. Ha <laughs> ha 